So today I am going to explain why I'm not going to chase the one of one card that I was so excited for. After talking to a friend, um, right now there's a very big controversy of Budweiser. They hired this uh, individual called Dylan. Uh, she is a trans individual and very popular. I have never heard of her, but she is basically killing it on Instagram and so on. I could kind of understand why they hired her, but Kid Rock and other conservative people, you know, let's call them, I mean, let's call them conservatives. We can call them other stuff, but okay, let's be nice. Uh, they are very angry and they're threatening to cancel Budweiser from their bars and their tours and stuff like that. Okay. Um, that controversy and then the fact that Ben Bleisman, I think he is the owner of Star City Games or the CEO, he pulled a serialized number one out of 500, uh, one of the better cards. And then he posted, hey, give me an offer on it. I combined all this and I, I, I have, you know, I had this conspiracy and I said, what if a neo-Nazi pulled this card? You know, that, that guy, remember the guy I was talking about with the Black Lotus from a long time ago? Uh, and then Vintage Magic had him on the channel and then the video has been deleted. What if he pulled the card from just a loose pack? One day he just went in, uh, he bought a pack no one knew he was a neo-Nazi, but then he opened it and, oh, wow, cool. And then he took the card and everyone wants to see the card. Everyone wants to hear about the card and where it was pulled. It's like winning lottery, right? Everyone wants to know about this card. The whole magic, as soon as the card is pulled, everyone in magic is going to stop what they're doing and want to see a picture of the card. I myself would too. And what if then he put it on like a Confederate flag? So this picture is that's being shared by every single, by Buzzfeed, by, you know, every single outlet on Reddit now has a picture of the card on a Confederate flag. Or an, I don't know, this, I, I assume that neo-Nazis have a flag too. Yeah, yep, they do have a Nazi flag, I remember now. Oof. Um, what if they put it on that? So everyone in Magic Gathering is now looking at the most valuable card in Magic, which it possibly is. And now they're also looking at a Confederate flag. So uh, the danger of a, of a person who Wizard of the Coast despises pulling this card, given that a lot of the player group is actually, you know, white cis males, right? Uh, which they hate, um, is very high. Now, this is a very extreme example. The, the, the neo-Nazi is a very extreme example. Um, a, a, a more obvious example would be, what if Jeremy Hambly opened the pack, pulled it? They hate Jeremy Hambly with a passion. There are employees who attacked him for no reason on Reddit, who he created a hate mob to go after him. What if he pulls it? You no, know, he enjoys magic. He's drinking a beer one day. He said, you know what? Let me buy some packs, Lord of the Rings, right? Let me open some of this stuff. And he pulled it. That would be their living nightmare. What if I pull it? What if I pull it? And then I eat it. And I use it to wipe my poo. <laughs> that would be a living nightmare for them too. So this is why I do not think, given the attention, given the lore giving the idea it's lord of the rings and there's one ring right that they cannot possibly allow it to be random there is no way this ring is random because in the wrong hands that this sounds kind of like lord of the ring is it could damage their brand what if kanye pulled it and then he drew like a symbol on it you guys know what i'm talking about and then everyone who shared the symbol, I mean, it would just don't think about magic. Think outside magic. If the right, the wrong person pulls it, you know, maybe a Joe Biden. What if Joe Biden pulls it? Or Donald Trump. And then suddenly it gets very political. Right? It, 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 you're, you're in, you're exposing yourself to a lot of negative feedback, potential negative feedback. If the wrong person pulls it. What of collectible gurus? And then you tried to sell fractional ownerships of it. It would be terrible. 
if any crypto boys, moon boys, pulled it. What if uh, Do Kwan or Sam Bakeman freed? He seems like a guy who might play magic. Well, if he pulls it in jail, <laughs> you know, he's like, oh. My, my point is they got to make sure the person who pulls it, pulls it is somebody they approve of. Just like how they gave the serialized number ones to Star City Games because they approve of them. They have a business relationship and people are like, oh, you can't prove. No, I can prove it. I would bet. I mean, if anyone wants to bet with me, let me know and we'll DM. Uh, I'm a lawyer. We can sign real contracts, right? I have to, you know, we can have the asset with a middleman. I bet that this card is going to be pulled by somebody we already know in the community. That this person is going to pull it on live stream, maybe on whatnot or on some type of, you know, Mad Commander Fest live stream. And it'll be somebody who has a lot of following on social media. I mean, Post Malone, but might not be Post Malone. There's other people, baseball players and so on that are less, you know, obvious than Post Malone. But he's probably the number one candidate. If I had to bet my money, I would all be on Post Malone pulls it. Maybe at a concert, at a live concert that streamed to Magic players. Because it, it cannot possibly end up in my hands or in Jeremy's hands or in, you know, the worst case scenario is it ends up in Kanye's hands, right? I mean, God forbid it ends in Kanye's hands. It would be devastating for Magic the Gathering, the brand, given, you know, what they stand for and so on. And then given Kanye's volatility and, you know, some of his crazy stuff he said. That's why my chase is over. I know that I now... I'm not one of the favorite people by Wizard of the Coast. I know I have no chance of pulling it, and you don't either. You, as the average consumer, have a zero possibility of pulling this card. They don't want some nobody to pull a card. That's not going to help their marketing. They need a somebody to pull it. That's why when you talk about Panini and Backyard Breaks, they get a lot of the hits, right? There was even this uh, whole segment about how they were getting loaded boxes all the time. Well, if you are a company and you want to promote a product and you want to, you know, people to think all oh, there's all these valuable hits that I can get. So then I'll buy more. I'll pay more money for your product. Well, you need the product. You need the, the product hits to be hit live by the biggest people, which at the time was backyard breaks. Like if some random Timmy hits the card, that's not going to do you any good. If Post Malone hits a card on whatnot on live stream, bang. Bang, bang, right? You couldn't ask about the marketing. So I'm think, starting to think that these serialized cards are really just being given out to employees, friends, family, and they don't actually exist in a product. Um, at least the good ones. Like, you know, when I mean the good ones, I mean the, the top ones, and obviously I mean the ring. The ring is, there's one of them. It cannot be random. It's too dangerous for it to be random. The whole eyes of magic will be on that individual who pulls it. And like I said in another video, imagine the individual is a Nazi and then he puts it on the Nazi flag. And so everyone who shares it is now promoting Nazism. I mean, do you understand what a PR disaster that would be for Wizard of the Coast? That every single post, like thousands, I mean, they would on BuzzFeed, right? You know how epic a disaster that was, the butt crack incident? Like, I think it was like, what, 5 million views on it? Well, times that by like 500 or maybe a thousand, right? Because that's the amount of views that people are gonna look at this ring. I mean, what if um, somebody had an OnlyFans, right? And they um, wanted to put the ring like right here or somewhere you know you know what i mean where, where they do magic cards so they put a common because they love these commons and they'll put you know so they'll go in the bathtub again they'll go nude and for their only fans there'll be you know a picture of their card right around this area and then the only way you can get it on high resolution is if you pay for their only fans membership not as big of a disaster in fact i think a lot of wizard coach employees would be okay with it but from traditional media, they would bake, they would bake, they would bake and rake Magic the Gathering for being like just very dumb. Like they would be like, oh, this is what Magic is about, huh? I mean, yeah, you can imagine just the worst people. What if a, what if Putin gets it? 
What if a, um, I'm thinking of the worst. What if Alex McCheedy got it and then kind of revived his career? <laughs> Only to cheat again. There are some really bad people and there are offenders and so on. There's like a magic guy named Judge Offender. There's a lot of bad people and the last thing they, Wizard Coast needs is bad PR and therefore I do not believe that they What if Teresa Nielsen pulled it? Oh no. Oh no. Noah Bradley. I, I could, I, the list of people who play Magic who would probably buy collector's edition packs for the chance to pull this, that Wizard of the Coast would not want to recognize, like Harold McNeil, the the uh, the artist who did the uh, Invoke Prejudice with the you know KKK. Um, what if the president of the KKK pulled it, and he too was a Magic fan? Like you can understand what I'm saying. When you don't have control, a lot of things can go very wrong. And the more I think about it, the more I realize this this card is not in a pack, is it? This card right now is sitting in a box in Chris Cox's office to be handed to Post Malone. Po now, now, it's not Post Malone's fault. He's not going to know it's in there, right? But they, for sure, they know where the ring is. There's only one of them. So it's not like complicated math. There's one of them. You don't even have to know where the ring is in terms of a box. You just have to know the general consensus. Is it in this case? Is it in this pallet? Where is the pallet being sent to? Oh, it's being sent to Star City Games or eBay. Okay, they'll handle it. We'll mark it, you know, here. And then maybe uh, it gets sent to whatnot. I mean, that's one way to get more than like 50 viewers on whatnot from Magic the Gathering. Anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Hi, guys.